Hi, I'm Nadav Shemel for our 2022 tailings program brought to you by Mining Journal and Mining Magazine. This year, we're focusing on how the mining sector is getting smarter on tailings management through new technologies, innovations, and ways of thinking. FL Schmidt, partners of this year's program, know all about the topic. The multinational engineering firm recently launched Mission Zero, a sustainability program to achieve net zero emissions and zero water waste in mining and cement by 2030. Mission Zero includes solutions aimed at sustainable water use and smart tailings management. Ken Rao, Director of Tailing Solutions at FL Schmidt, is here to talk about Mission Zero. Hi, Ken. Hi, how are you doing today? Hi, great, thanks. Uh, Ken, if we could just kick off uh, by providing a bit of background about what Mission Zero is. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mission Zero is FL Schmidt's, um, so really their sustain sustainability mission to look at how, um, from a high level, uh, holistic approach, do we reduce you know, emissions, freshwater consumption, uh, power usage in the entire mining flow sheet. So we've started looking at from, from the point of where the, the ore is brought up, uh, all the way from you know, through the crushing, where we're looking at newer technologies, the HBGR, our vertical roller mill through the, the flotation separating out, we have a coarse air um, for coarse flotation, reflux flotation cells for fines, with the purpose of trying to look at these upstreams to reduce the amount of fines generated, as the fines often have an impact, uh, the largest impact on dewatering, as well as the material properties when, during placement. So after we've gone through that entire upper portions of the, the flow sheet for copper, gold, or any other uh, flow sheets, then we look at what, what are the best technologies for dewatering uh, solutions to achieve the uh, required you know, moisture for the disposal. Uh, and for larger tonnage mines, we'll bring in uh, the evaluation of different material handling and mobile stacking systems to look at those tailings, all focused on uh, achieving the goals by 2030 of reduced emissions, reduced power usage, uh, and reduced wastewater. So you've, you've, um, you've gone into it Betty, you able to elaborate more on what the tailings programs are specifically that you look problems, uh, tailings problems that you're looking to solve with uh, Mission Zero? Yeah, I mean, I think over the last, you know, maybe even five, six years, the biggest challenge has been trying to make the dewatering, you know, economic. Mm -hmm. You know, in the past, especially, you know, it was you just, you know, as you got into, you know, dewatering has been done, filters, tailings has been done for, for a long time, but on very small tonnage, less than 10,000 tons per day. Yeah. Um, but once you got above that, you know, the filters, you just needed to buy so many of them that it just became cost prohibitive. And so throughout the industry, the, the different OEMs, we, we've all been developing larger and larger filters. You know, we, we built our colossal filter um, years ago, um, trialed it. It's currently being evaluated again to be placed at a mine site um, to assist there. Um, we've got our larger, largest filter design that we, we developed with uh, industry cooperation, our five by three filter. I know there's, you know, and that's just been driving the filter size going up and up and up to, to improve the economics for large scale tonnage mines. We've evaluated mine sites or, or whole you know, areas where they may want to combine multiple tailings upwards of, you know, 400,000 tons per day. And in the past, there, there's no one would even look at that. But as the filter technology has gotten bigger, but also improved through the control systems, um, plate advancements in plate technologies and filter media technologies, it's, it's gotten to the point where it, it's, it's, you can do it, at least it justifies the economic evaluation in comparison to say desalination, where you may be having to desalinate the water, ocean water, and then pumping at very large distances up into the mountains. So the, the cost is, is the goal of the cost itself was to try to get it down where it was, you know, not free, obviously, but you want it to be, you know, competitive with the other technologies that have been used by the mining industry, the primary one being desalination. So how's the reception been? Uh, been and you've mentioned some case studies here. How's the reception been for your uh, filtration, thickening, and tailing solutions? Yeah. So yeah, there's been over the last you know three to five years a, a significant increase in customers contacting us, asking us to help them look at their whether it's an existing brownfield solution. Uh, 
can we add in, what can we add in such as, you know, we, we've developed test skids for the course flotation, uh, fines flotation. Those spend a lot of time out at mine sites. Um, we've got, you know, pilot mills uh, with the newer tile style, the HBGR and the vertical roller mill. So they used to spend a lot of time uh, along with our pilot dewatering equipment out at mine sites, doing a lot of testing. And then for Greenfield, we, we do spend a lot of time in the lab, uh, looking at the different solutions, characterizing the sample, looking to ways to, to kind of combine and bring in, if we go to a coarser grind, what impact does it have on grade recovery up through what would be the best you know, solution that meets their water recovery needs, you know, to close their water balance, looking at how we, we combine the different technologies, uh, looking for the right one to bring down, you know, give you the lowest cost for the amount of water recovered. Uh, and then look again, looking at how's the best disposal. Uh, and we'll work with, you know, pretty closely with the, the customer as well as their geotechnical consultant for those studies. Ken Rao from FL Schmidt, thank you for your insights into Mission Zero and your uh, sustainability, your tailing sustainability solution. Thank you.